yesterday we were trying to work out what you enjoyed doing and we got to uh Manchester United and moaning. And that is that is the two we came I up with. I don't with. know where you get the moaning thing You're from. You're always whinging. About what? Everything. What, when? When did I last have a moan? Uh just before we came on air. Right, and why was that? <laughs> um I don't know, I can't remember. Because well, we I'll, were in good mood, we were in a good mood, me and Rick. I'll tell you why. Go on. Cos you brought a song in at ten to one. Yeah. With a load of effing and jeffing in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And saying, can you edit this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. that's your job. You could have brought it in yesterday. No, I couldn't. Why not? I hadn't thought of it. Hmm. <laughs> but why, but why, but why are you whinging? That's your job. And I didn't come in ten minutes before, it was a good twenty minutes before. It just took you ages because you were whinging and moaning mm. to even get started. I'm not, I'm not being dragged into this. You are always- I'm on my holiday now. Well, not yet. No, you're not on yet. You're still working. Well, this, this, that's what's funny. This isn't even work, right? And yet it should be. Compared to what I do in the week, <laughs> this is a doddle. <laughs> well, it's because you're not putting any effort in, clearly. I mean, I, I know what Steve's like. He is tight, right? He's, well. he's, he, no, he is. And you know that, don't you, Steve? Financially, I mean, I'm not, you mean? Well, no, I mean, just the way you are. You're very sure. sort of, you know, you, you're, not, you're not wasteful with your money. I'm careful. <laughs> no, I'm not wasteful. Absolutely right. No, no, but to the extreme. Not at all to the extreme. Not at all to the extreme. <laughs> no, 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 no. Look come after on, the pennies, the pains will take care of themselves. Alright? <sighs> Simple to remember, good advice. Yeah, Alright? but the thing is, right, um, I know that I take the mickey out of you for like, you know, the way you look and stuff. Sure. Right? Well, I'm right back at you. But the thing is, you can't help that. <laughs> Absolutely. But I'll tell you something that women don't like. Sure. And it's fellas who are tight with the money. Sure. I'm not, I'm not frugal with money with ladies, I'm frugal with money with you. <laughs> well, I've I have got no reason to splash money out on you. I've never seen you splash money out. Well, you've never been out with me. Have you ever, have, Steve? Have you ever splashed out on a lady? Um, no, but I hope to one day. <laughs> the right lady. <laughs> Play a record. For Father's Day, he's playing for the cottage that he's going away with his dad. Are you really, Carl? Yeah. Right. Well, there's no way of us proving if that's true or not. Well, what do you mean? <laughs> well, you could be lying. But why would I do that? Well, because you want to show off. I didn't do it on air, you mentioned it. <laughs> I don't want people to know how generous I am. <laughs> I just, <laughs> right. just do it, just get on with it. Sure. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, like charity yeah. work and that. Yeah. 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 Exactly. It's all those great prizes. You know, we've actually had people emailing in saying, this is the worst Rockbusters ever, because it was too easy, it was boring. Oh. Well, uh, 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 this is just, uh, don't shoot the messenger. Oh, dear. Other people saying, um, what? it really has run its course. Some people genuinely agree oh, with Ricky. Oh, Carl, this must hurt, mate. Stinging attacks on you. Um, some people just slagging you off generally, saying oh, you, win, you God. whinge all the time. Looks like Steve like. was right when he, um, sort of like, poo-poos your ideas. So. When he, uh, when he wheezes on your so bonfire. Other, someone else, I swear to God, someone else emailed in and said, don't bother sending me the prizes, take them to a charity shop or pawn them, give me the money, I'd rather have it. So I don't know what to say, Carl, I just wonder if it really has run its course now. Alright, well, well we'll see what you come up with next week, no. then. <laughs> let's, see, let's see what you do, let's see what you come in with. Sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. At five to one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing you'll be popping in with a, a, a hip-hop track. Yeah. Full of, uh, yeah. Full of effing and jeffing well, again, no, no, I won't, I won't bring it into you, I'll do it myself at home. Because obviously that makes <laughs> oh, it easier. Oh, dear. Obviously you can't cope. Oh, dear. Oh. Yeah. yeah. You, don't, you don't need another holiday. Oh. Oh, he's started already. I mean, you Steve's know. made you look like a bit of a twat already. <laughs> and it's well, only five past one. But the only reason you don't go on holiday is because you have to spend money. <laughs> oh, and he's gone straight back! Well, he's gone straight back! <laughs> I can't come back to that. <laughs> oh, it's just, dear. it's just, that uh, dynamite. It's just absolute, that was, that was oh, serious. Oh, the last one of the, the uh, Suzanne, <laughs> your girlfriend, or mummy as you call her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sparks are flying. Yeah. She, she also came up with a, a list of unlikely lost objects, I think she called them. Yeah. Guess who was in that list? Ricky Gervais. Think again. Carl Pilkington. Right, next one. Johnny Vegas. Said, lanky co-writer. <laughs> Rubbish. Lanky co-writer. What do you mean, lanky co-writer? Well, don't need to say anymore. <laughs> he said... <laughs> Hang on, wait a minute. Let's not talk about... I, I don't want you laughing at my expense. I'm an unlikely <laughs> lost object. Yeah, but I was thinking about that, actually, Steve. Oh, God. <laughs> Just talking of... of the old, uh... What? What? Talking of the what? No. Do you know, like... This better be good. No, you don't have that many... 
girlfriends and that. What, what do you mean? Carl, why are we on this? I wasn't- I was defending you in the whole monkey discussion. Come on, what's oh, your point? No, what's your point? What's your point? No, what's the point? What's the point? I just was thinking... <sighs> if there was an infinite number of Steves? <laughs> You're not, you, you know, you're an odd-looking fella. Ah! Uh, come on, Carl, get to the- No, you know I know that. I've told you that loads of times. What do you quick. mean, you know I know that? Well, there's no point pretending anymore. <laughs> Steve! I'm- I'm flabbergasted. But also, you don't like spending money, right? <gasps> He's mean and weird-looking! Valentine's Day. No. <laughs> I'm gonna- oh! Are you sort of, oh. uh, you know. <laughs> You've got to love him though, haven't you? What- what are you happier with? The fact that no girls like you enough, right? <laughs> this is meant- this is really mental! Or, are you happy because you don't have to spend any money on a card for someone? Which... A little from column A. <laughs> a little from column B. <laughs> <laughs> Wait! Let's have- so let's have more monkey news. What well, have we got? What, no, we've got a- We've got so honest. much to get into this show. Insults. We don't stupidity. need the insults. I think we've got enough. We don't need the insults. Yeah, there's no more insults. No what more insults. What angers me with Carl is you know he's been planning that. No, I haven't. I, I was well, I was thinking about it on the way in because Valentine's Day is coming up and I'm not a big fan of it. <laughs> condoms? You bought your girlfriend a box of condoms for Christmas. I don't think you can have a go at me. <laughs> to no, be fair. No, but I don't just treat her on Valentine's. I'm always- do you know what I mean? You don't even treat her on Valentine's. <laughs> you don't even treat her at Christmas or on her Hang birthday. On when do you treat Hang her? Hang on a minute. Wait a cotton picking minute there. Oh, uh, why I oughta. <laughs> what? Well. Wait nice a time. minute. What was that? Deputy dog. I treat your girlfriend better than you, <laughs> and I've only met her twice. <laughs> I took her out last night and she enjoyed herself. Where'd yeah. you go? Until she had to write the cheque. Where'd you go? Where'd to, you go? Uh, to a chippy. A, a really... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Play a record! It to a, a chippy? <laughs> no, a really a quality one. Right. Oh, God! One, under a fiver for two... Oh, nice lots. wrapping. Not newspaper, greaseproof paper. And bread. And bread. You're always having a go at my ideas. Yeah. Little, yeah. you know, cheapest chimps you put down. Mm -hmm. Uh, again, I, I normally come up with these because... You don't come up with a competition sure, idea. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, he's done yeah, him again. Yeah. Well, cheapest chimps, mine. You're dissing it. Yep. Rockbusters, one of the most successful competitions ever. Uh huh. Uh, and he means in the world, not just yeah. on XFM. Yeah. You put that down. Yep. I think you're going to maybe need to step down from the team because Carl, oh. I'm not sure. I am not sure. Oh. You you consider yourself a kind of player manager, but frankly, I'm not sure you're providing enough. Right. See, this is this is funny because as bad as I imagine you are. I don't think Steve would make it into my team, so he's getting a bit cocky here. I want to know what your opinion of him, because he's told me he's great on it. Well, it... You, you bang out of order, first of all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you have a good night when you're with us? Um, I tell you what, I wish I- I wish I hadn't lost a tenner every time I've come down. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> that well, would have improved it. I mean, Steve always does this whenever I come up with an idea. Oh, yeah. i just trying to make sure it's just the best it can yeah, be, Carl. Yeah. Yeah, no, he came up with a few game shows and Steve was going, no, it's no good. And Carl said to me, he said, it's the one that the office ever got on telly. Yeah, but, well, we shall see how cheap his chimps plays out, but <laughs> frankly, the fact that- <laughs> the fact that you said to me, Steve, I've come up with the best game show ever, it's called Cheapest Chimps, what's the idea? I don't know, I just like the name. I, it's something to do with chimps. I thought, well, I'm not sure that's the best- the best game show ever. And well, what was I the th other one you came up I with think that you told me I think a few people will be disagreeing with him, Carl. I think people will say that Cheapest Chimps could be the best game show ever. You know- when I was at school, people like you, I really didn't like. You're a stirrer, Gervais. He flits, doesn't he, from one side to the next, Carl. The one thing, we may argue, mate, but at least we're consistent. Ricky Gervais flipping from one side to the other. One day he's Carl, on Carl's side. When was the last time Steve wrestled you to the ground and got you in a leg clamp? No, you're right. Never. What were you talking about earlier, about glasses as well, and Steve taking his glasses off? What was that? What are you saying that in front of him now for? Was it, oh, was it an insult? It wasn't really an insult. Carl, what thought... were you up to? No, what was it? I genuinely don't remember. I I genuinely don't remember. Well, I just, right, Steve, I'm not I'm not having a go, right? Um, just saying our people, um, it's a bit weird that you've got glasses because you've got a good pair of eyes on you, right? <laughs> that That isn't an insult. What were you talking about, though? What was it? Why did you... It was the fact that people who wear glasses always look a bit weird without them on. It's, it's like... You know, they they were they should they should wear glasses. I okay. W why did we get round to this? What was we talking about? What were we talking about? I don't know. I don't I don't know. I don't know what that was. 
It sounds like an insult, even if it wasn't no, intended as one. It wasn't. It, it sounds wasn't. like an insult, Carl. <laughs> it does, yeah. No, it wasn't. I but should listen. be able to punch you every time you insult me, though. No, but I'm not. Oh, I'm doing it. I'm going to give you a dead arm. Look, Steve, it's, it's, it's you. Like you you always even if it wasn't, you intended it to be one. Well, what you. <laughs> oh! That was real. Play a record. Yeah. Yeah, but it's mad. Every time you insult me from That's now mad. On. Oh, is this the cardigans?